Today we're going to make what I think is probably the simplest CO2 generator in the world. The things you're going to need. A five gallon bucket. I like these Home Depot ones. The brand new ones with the new lid. It seals pretty much airtight. We will need our air pump. Now we're going to need an air stone. So we're going to need some hose. As far as tools, the only thing we're going to need, I'm keeping it simple. Pointy set of snips here. I'm going to use them to poke holes in the lid. Now you don't want to go too too deep too fast because you want to keep this hole tight on that hose. I want to have to really force it through that hole so that it seals around itself airtight. And I'm turning it a little bit. And because the scissors are tapered, the inside of this hole is smaller than the outside. So I won't need any silicone on it. I want to make sure it's very tight and hard to push through. Okay. There we go. It's through. Now this hose, I want it to reach the bottom of the bucket. So that that's plenty. This is where we put our air stone. Okay, air stone's in there. So this end just gets plugged into the air pump. All right. Simple enough so far. We got to make another hole. I'm going to put it on the opposite side. Again, go slowly so you don't make the hole too big. Because if you don't have any silicone, then you're good. You don't need it. Okay, take another hose. Okay, perfect. It's very tight going through that hole. This one, it doesn't have to go deep. Okay, so now we have our input from the air pump and our outgoing hose from this tiny little thing. And when we seal this, the air that's forced into here, this is sealed airtight, it has to come out somewhere, so it's going to come out this, this short one. It has to. So the mixture is approximately four to six, six cups of sh sugar. Dissolve that in water, approximately a gallon and a half, around this deep. And stir in the sugar really well, totally dissolve it in the warm water. And then add two tablespoons of yeast. You give, once you put the yeast in there, you just give it a light stir. You don't have to go nuts on it like you did with the sugar. You're not trying to dissolve it. Like that, that yeast and sugar, when it mixes and does does its reaction, it foams up really good. And with the old CO2 generator, with the hole on top and and the uh, the pump up there, some people were filling it up too, with too much water, and then when it would foam up, it would actually come right up into the pump and cause all kinds of problems with their pumps and not working and, and stuff like that. Well this totally eliminates all of that. Your, your pump is high and dry wherever you want to put it. You got your air stone inside the bucket, you got your outtake, and then seal your lid airtight. to see. Put a little T on there. And then you can have one hose running to one tent, another hose running to another tent, because obviously this isn't for a large garden. This is just for a tent or a small room, you know. And then plug in your air pump and that sugar and yeast is going to create CO2. It's going to mix with the air bubbles coming in through your 
intake hose and be forced to come out your other hose. It'll last you 15 to 20 days and then change out your solution. The simplest solution for a heater, buy a cheap incubator pad, you know, the kind that you put your little cloning tray on. They're cheap, get them on Amazon. You can plug it in, you can set the temperature to whatever you want. Um, one of the, my viewers recommended around uh, 90 degrees, I think it was, or 89 degrees, somewhere around there. The heater that I have, this one here, you can see it. It doesn't have any dial on it, doesn't have any temperature set settings. It does have a setting internally, but I can't control it. It'll get up to around 85 degrees, which is, I know, not quite warm enough, but it's better than nothing. This heater has a suction cup on the bottom, so I'll be putting it on the bottom of the bucket, on the inside, of course. Cut the cord. Well, I'll probably do it closer to this end. I'll make a very small hole to feed that through, reconnect my cord, and then my heater will be good. That's what I'm going to use. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.